thanks for being with us uh, on this interesting conversation of GST at seven. Uh, as we, as you know, we've run the survey, and soon after our survey, a few days later, we've had the 53rd GST Council meeting, and now we have the GST at seven day, the anniversary around the corner. Uh, it's been an interesting journey to say the least. But if I start off with what's happening in the survey, and then we go into the council meeting and your your experience. The survey actually has given a 84% thumbs up as against 72% last year, from which actually MSMEs, which is almost 28% of the population, has given a 78% thumbs up. So, you know, in a year when audits are uh, increased in terms of the statute of limitation coming in, how do you see this uh, from your lens and from the technology industry at large? So, first and foremost, Mahesh, glad to be here. And the journey of GST in the last seven years has been absolutely transformative, both not only for the enterprises like us, but for India's indirect tax administration and compliance. And I do think that the council's approach of continuous engagement with the taxpayer fraternity, addressing our concerns and streamlining processes and in providing the necessary and very timely clarifications has genuinely helped us to avoid unwarranted litigations. We see that demonstrated in several indicators and I'd like to call out a few. The positive GST experience in tax administration and compliance such as the self-service circular that has been issued last year, the government's genuine proactive approach reflects its efforts towards ease of doing business in India and something which is very close to IBM being in the IT industry is the automation and technology infusion which we see in streamlining the tax compliance. So from our perspective this is a really welcome change and since we want to really focus our energy and time on our business uh, growth and investing in the region. Excellent. I think uh, your answers uh, you know, uh, are not very different from what our respondents have said. And two things that stood out in the survey was automation and technology, for which 44% to 81% in MSME in particular is given a thumbs up. Um, and also the engagement and issuance of clarifications, which is dealing with whether on uh, ease of doing business and uh, the other aspects, particularly in the year of audits. So the 53rd Council meeting, which just happened last Saturday, uh, interesting set of announcements. It came after a period of eight and a half months, naturally, because of we had the elections and uh, it's been, but uh, clearly it didn't seem like the other side wasn't, the government wasn't working. They seem to have been working on double speed. What's your takeaways? What are the two, three top things that you've observed relevant uh, for us to discuss today? I think the GST Council has addressed multiple issues which the industry is facing and we are very grateful and pleased that it also gave its approval to a large number of dispute resolutions as well as procedural and compliance issues. Uh, and to name a few, as you asked, the intercompany transactions based on the revenue neutrality concept, the amnesty measures, the impact on working capital due to reduction in pre-deposit terms, and last but not the least, the litigation reduction measures. It is indeed now really the GST 2.0 that we are looking forward to from an industry perspective, Mahesh. And I do believe that this will provide a valuable structural framework on a go-forward basis. No, it's interesting you say that because, you know, clearly the focus on the unwarranted litigations, uh, you know, one looks at the kind of disputes in hand. I don't think the volume of disputes has played a role. I think the decision has been, if there is something that can be clarified to avoid the litigation, let's get it done with. The point that you called out of amnesty and pre-deposit, which are uh, critical in the first few years of GST, as well as on dispute resolution does indeed stand out. Uh, having said that, Tej, from your perspective, which are the areas you think the government can continue to do more uh, or could, should consider certain nuances? Are there some two, three points that you want to share with us? Let me start with again a positive that the recent instruction issued to address the challenges faced by taxpayers like us having a pan-India operation is really a welcome relief. But you can always do better and we do look forward to uh, 
incremental changes and what i think the council can really focus on going forward is to avoid multiplicity duplicity in audit and investigations it doesn't help from a time uh, money in any perspective i don't think it has any positive impact and the measures to unblock working capital due to accumulated itc and removal and reduction of itc restrictions and clarifications on various export of services would really be helpful i think mahesh i think that's very well articulated so your 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 you know may take away your recommendations are in two buckets one saying there's a start on these investigation circulars and will help at least as things move forward but on dual investigations particularly where you could be registered with a state or center if there is a little more process or standard operating procedure that will help uh, i think the point of working capital actually so the itc restrictions stood out as 87% of our participants oh. said itc restriction should go away uh, and maybe that's probably with with the record collections and the stable collections more importantly uh, hopefully time is right for the 2.0 technical or the tax reforms to come in on that front you did say working capital as well as export liberalization uh, excellent tech couldn't have had any more crisp and sharp comments from you as always uh, thank you for your time and you know, uh, i'm sure these insights are always useful for not only me but for the rest of us at deloitte and, and all of us to be seen thank you very much and i must thank you and the deloitte team uh, how much we count on your partnership Uh, I cannot put in words. So thank you, thank you, really for everything. Very kind of you to say. Thank you, Tej. Appreciate it. Thank you.